Hello guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about Genny Malkin and him possibly getting traded from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now, Genny Malkin is once again involved in NHL trade rumors, so how likely is it that he'll actually get traded and which teams can actually trade for him? Watch till the end to find out. Now, after getting swept in the first round versus the New York Islanders, the Pittsburgh Penguins are once again willing to do something very, very drastic, and trading a guy like Evgeny Malkin might actually happen. Now, Evgeny Malkin trade rumors are nothing new by any means. We've seen Evgeny Malkin floated in the NHL rumor space time after time again, year after year, and almost every single rumor in the past end up being false. But this time around, things kind of seem different. After being disappointed versus the New York Islanders being swept in the first round, it's clear that GM of the Pittsburgh Penguins, Jim Rutherford, is going to do something drastic. Whether that's trading up Genny Malkin, going out and getting a big free agent, or trading for somebody out there, it's looking like Jim Rutherford will have a very busy offseason and a very big one that might include an Evgeny Malkin trade. Now, when it comes to Jim Rutherford's goals, it's pretty easy to see what he's doing. He wants to win at least one more cup before Sidney Crosby goes off the skates and retires from the NHL. We've seen that in the past with guys like Evgeny Malkin being rumored to be traded, guys like Phil Kessel also being rumored to be traded. We've seen both of those guys rumored in this offseason when the offseason isn't even here yet. So it's looking like Jim Rutherford will do everything it takes to get Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins another cup, even if it is trading a guy and a star caliber player like Evgeny Malkin. Now, Elliot Friedman, in my opinion, the most credible hockey reporter out there, said that some teams told him that the rumors of Genny Malkin being traded are actually true. That doesn't mean that he'll actually be traded, but it is true that there is some interest out there. And that is huge for a guy that is 32 years of age, has been on the pitch of Penguins for his entire career. He has a $9.5 million contract till the end of 2020, 2021, 2022, and that is a big contract for some teams to take on. This season with the pitch of Penguins, he ended up playing 68 games, getting 21 goals, 51 assists for 72 points. When he was healthy, especially offensively, he wasn't bad. But in the playoffs, he kind of disappeared. And defensively, I don't think we want to even mention that. But even at age 32, Evgeny Malkin is still a great player if, he, if he's used in the right role. And a lot of teams have already expressed interest, that most notably being the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers, those two teams expressing the most out of any of the 31 NHL teams. And that makes some sense. Both of those teams are out of the playoffs. Both of those teams are willing to make some big moves, especially the Florida Panthers who have gone out and gotten Joel Quinville. They could be in for some more big moves this offseason. And getting a guy like Evgeny Malkin would certainly be a big one. I don't really blame any team for going after a guy like Evgeny Malkin. While his defense is questionable at best, he still could arguably be a top five center in the NHL. That's how good he still is, even at his old age, and that's something that a lot of teams right now can definitely use. And that obviously the New York Rangers and the Florida Panthers are interested, but there's also some other teams that might be going for a trade of Evgeny Malkin. Now we're first going to go out to the Florida Panthers, and they're a team that is very interested in Malkin already, and I think could definitely pull off a Evgeny Malkin trade. Now obviously, going back to the Florida Panthers in this mock trade, obviously, is Evgeny freaking Malkin, but going back to the Pittsburgh Penguins, that's where it gets a lot more interesting. First, I have Vincent Trocek, a guy who I think if Evgeny Malkin is going to Florida, will be involved in the deal. He's a very solid player and will be a great second line center for the Pittsburgh Penguins if it does end up happening. I also have Michael Matheson going in the deal, Mackenzie Weger, and a 20 23rd round pick. And going for the Pittsburgh Penguins, I think this trade could make a lot of sense. Vincent Trocek is a fantastic two-way center that, if healthy, can bring a ton of offense a solid amount of defense and will be a fantastic second line center behind Cindy Crosby. They also want some defense and Michael Matheson, while he isn't as good as he was in the years past, can still bring a little bit of that. Also Mackenzie Weger, who I think is a pretty underrated defenseman, could also bring some defense for Pittsburgh. And that 2023 round pick, I think he's just a throw in. Pittsburgh, I don't know if they really want picks right now, but I think they'll take it since I think Florida wants to sweeten that deal and get a guy like Betty Malkin. They might need to give up some picks, but I think that core of Vincent Trocek, Michael Matheson, and Mackenzie Weger well, at that point, almost get it done. Now, in this mock trade, I was kind of debating giving a guy like Aaron Ekblad or Keith Yandel to the Pittsburgh Penguins, but either of those two guys, I'm not sure if it's the best fit for Pittsburgh. Starting out with Keith Yandel, who I think is just a little bit more of a Chris Letang and a little bit less of what they actually need. They already got Chris Letang, the offensive defenseman who is spectacular in his own end, but I feel like a guy like Keith Yandel will bring some offense, but not the defense that Pittsburgh actually needs. And the same thing kind of going with Aaron Ekblad, who I think is one of the most overrated defensemen in the NHL today. Defensively, he 
he's not all that great offensively. He can put up points, but again, I'm not sure that's what Pittsburgh needs right now. They need some more defense. Well, Michael Mapson is not a great defensive defense by any means. I still think he would be a decent defenseman and would cost a lot less than a guy like Aaron Ekblad. And with a guy like Vincent Trocek going back in the deal, this is a guy that I think would be a necessity in a Guinea Malkin trade. While it would be hard for him to give up a guy like Vincent Trocek, I feel like that is a guy that Pittsburgh would definitely want. A fantastic second line offensive center and defensive to slot in behind Crosby could work pretty well. And for a lot of these mock trades, I feel like a guy, a center at least, going back to Pittsburgh is what I think they could be looking for. While they could be looking also for some defense, I think they're going for a center and a fenceman at least in a potential trade of a Guinea Malkin. Now going on to the next mock trade, this one involving the New York Rangers, and this one is very, very interesting because with the New York Rangers, they don't have as good of a second line or even third line center now as a guy, as a team like Florida with Vincent Trocek. While they got some excellent young players, centers especially, Elias Anderson, Philip Heedle, obviously Brett Howden too, I don't know if Pittsburgh will want those guys immediately, but I think they would want one of them at least. Now going back to the New York Rangers in this trade will be Evgeny Malkin, obviously. For the players going back to Pittsburgh in this trade, I have Brady Shea, Vlad Nemesnikov, uh, Neil Pine, and last but not least, Brett Howden. And in this trade, while it probably wouldn't work as well as the Florida Panthers one, I still think there are some excellent pieces going back that Pittsburgh would definitely want, including Brady Shea, who is a solid young defenseman, who is not the best in the world, but would be a very solid top four guy for them. Vlad Nemestikov, who's been kind of snake bent with the New York Rangers, still has some talent, could be a solid middle six guy for Pittsburgh. Also, Neil Pionk, who I think is a pretty underrated defenseman, also decently young and could slot into that top four. And last but not least, Brett Howden, who may not be a part of that first line, or at least that core for New York going forward could be a guy that yes has some definite talent but could be shipped off to Pittsburgh to get a guy like Evgeny Malkin. With a guy like Philip Hedl, I don't see New York Rangers giving up on him, especially not a guy like Elias Anderson. Well, Brett Howden put up some amazing numbers in the New York Rangers, especially point-wise this season. I don't know why, but I see him being the guy that New York would gladly give up a lot more than the two other guys, and a guy that Pittsburgh would definitely want in a potential trade. Now this one could also be a little bit more unlikely since the New York Rangers are in the Pittsburgh Penguins division. That could be something that the Pittsburgh Penguins are wary of and don't want to do. While the New York Rangers might not be contending for cups or against Pittsburgh anytime soon with the rebuild phase, they don't want to have a guy like Evgeny Malkin facing them in division every single year. That could be a prompt for Pittsburgh. Maybe not the reason why it goes down, but a reason why the New York Rangers might not be the biggest contender for a guy like Evgeny Malkin. Now, last but not least, the third team who I think will be interested and will heavily pursue of getting Malkin. This one might seem a little bit crazy, but the Nashville Predators. Now, this is not my idea. I saw this proposed trade a couple of days ago when these Evgeny Malkin rumors started to swirl around, but the Nashville Predators are super, super interesting, and a fit for Evgeny Malkin might actually be there, which if you said two years ago when Pittsburgh beat Nashville in the Stanley Cup Final, I would have thought you were crazy, but here we are. Now, the proposed trade is this. Evgeny Malkin goes to the Nashville Predators in exchange for, yes, P.K. Subban. And that trade is bonkers. Maybe one of the biggest one-for-one -one trades that we've seen in a long time. Of course, P.K. Subban has some history being in one-on-one -on -one trades. He already knows that. But a guy like Evgeny Malkin being moved, what would be crazy. But in a one-for-one -one trade for P.K. Subban will be absolutely crazy. When we look at this bonkers deal, it actually does make sense for both teams involved. Evgeny Malkin could be the number one center for Nashville right out of the gate. With a guy like Kyle Turris not really working out for them, that could be a brilliant deal that they can make and maybe get rid of a guy like Kyle Turris in the offseason and a guy like Evgeny Malkin will be a for sure improvement. And for P.K. Subban going back to the Pittsburgh Penguins, that's the defensive answer that they've needed for a long, long time. And while this one-for-one -one trade is unlikely, I would say, again, I still think it benefits both teams. Having this big of a trade between Pittsburgh and Nashville, yes, does seem weird, but again, I think it would benefit both the defensive end for Pittsburgh and the offensive end for Nashville, and that's something that we've seen before. P.K. Subban was even earlier in the trade rumors than Evgeny Malkin, P.K. Subban being a guy that has been linked to trades, also Ryan Ellis too, but P.K. Subban seems like the better bet to be traded in this offseason. We've already seen him spoken out about some of those trade rumors, saying that it is business and that he would be not fine with it, but he would understand the possible trade. And going to Pittsburgh, a guy like P.K. Subban on that defense playing with Sidney Crosby would be absolutely disgusting. 
Now, if Genny Malkin, he would like to get a lot of responsibility in Nashville, especially offensively. I would say he would be the first line center on that team, even above Ryan Johansson. While Ryan Johansson had a big rebound season, especially offensively, the power play is something that Nashville might want to fix, and a guy like Evgeny Malkin could fix a lot of those problems. And when it comes to the time on ice, I think he would be the number one center there in Nashville, while his defense is lacking, of course. The offense has certainly been there, especially in his entire career. But seeing both a guy like Evgeny Malkin in Nashville and P.K. Subban in Pittsburgh would certainly freak me out. And for me, seeing Gunny Malkin in yellow Nashville will be very freaky, even more than P.K. Subban in a black Penguins jersey. Just those two things do not mix for some reason, but it still can happen. Again, it is unlikely these type of deals would take a lot to actually happen, but Jim Rutherford has been outspoken and being crazy in the past, making big deals. And a guy like David Poyle, National Predators not winning the Cup this season, could also be on the move to make a drastic decision, and this one-for-one -one trade would certainly be drastic for both GMs. Now, if I had to say a trade that's the most likely out of these three, I would definitely say the Florida Panthers one. For Penguins, getting back a guy like Vincent Trocek, Michael Matheson, Mackenzie Weger, and a pick, I think would be a good haul for Pittsburgh. Maybe not the best, but a decent one for a 32-year-old Evgeny Malkin. And for Florida, making some drastic decisions, doing some crazy stuff, I think they're open to getting a guy like Evgeny Malkin, and I think that is a realistic possibility. Still, trading a guy like Evgeny Malkin and seeing him on another team would be crazy, but I would say Florida is the most realistic destination. So while I still think it is unlikely that a guy like Guinea Malkin is traded, this NHL offseason will be very, very interesting for guys like Guinea Malkin from teams that disappointed in the playoffs to see if they actually make some drastic moves. And if Guinea Malkin is in a different jersey, especially next season, it wouldn't exactly surprise me. But of course, with this video, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know what you think about these Evgeny Malkin trade rumors. Do you see any truth in these? Do you see it being false? And of course, Evgeny Malkin is traded. Where do you think he will be traded? Which team? And what do you see going back to the Pittsburgh Penguins? But if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video with the Toronto Maple Leafs and what's next for them. But that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on these Guinea Milk and Tree rumors and which team you could possibly get treated to. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.